What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? It's your boy Q Morgan in the building. This is Blowing the Budget. Here we highlight those budget friendly cigars as well as introduce our new smoker friends to this cigar lifestyle. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, give me a two thumbs up. This automatically enters you into the monthly swag bag drawing. Each month, pick out a couple of sticks, print out a couple of shirts, send those directly to your house. Today we're doing something from Alec Bradley. This is Blind Faith. Let's get into it. I want to welcome all my smoker friends to Blown the Budget. Here we have like those budget friendly cigars as well as those premium sticks that appears on everybody's wish list. Mm. Today we're blowing Alec Bradley, Blind Faith. Right off the introduction, I'm getting a blast of pepper on the retro hail. A little bit of leather, a little bit of cocoa. Don't know what this stick is all about. These are the guys that brought you Kintsugi. And definitely a brand to consider adding to the box if you haven't already. Mm. This is a nice, smooth, hearty smoke. If you're fond of the bolder side of medium, as this is classified as medium to full, this may be one to add to the box. Now, Alec Bradley is not a real person, but rather two people. These are the name of Alec Bradley Cigar Company's founder, Alan Rubin. He has two sons, one named Alec, the other named Bradley, hence the name. When Alan first started the company, Alec and Bradley were just kids. Well, with 20 years of experience, Alec and Bradley introduced Blind Faith as their first blend that they created on their own. Dad gave them the free run of the tobacco house and told them to come up with their own blend. These are the same children that gave us the Kintsugi. Did a review on that one. I'm going to go check that one out. I'm getting a lot of natural tobacco flavors at the introduction and the first third. It starts out with a deep brown Habano wrapper grown in Trojas, Honduras. Underneath is a double binder combination from Honduras and Nicaragua. That creates a sturdy, slow burning cigar. We've been at this for about 15 minutes now and we only got here. So this is definitely gonna be a slow smoke, an enjoyable session. So let's see what this smoke like. This is a strong smoke. Right now I'm picking up a little cinnamon and cedar as we get into that first third. Like I said, this is a slow session. Sit back and enjoy this. Blind Faith, Alec and Bradley. Well, we got a medium to full body classification. This came in a 6x52 Toro, and it definitely reaches the budget limit at exactly 10 bucks. So definitely go out and get you some of these. Maybe add this to the box. Nope, we got an uneven burn. It's not necessarily a crazy ash. But yeah, it's a, it's a little wobbly ash. Little, little, little something, something. Again, this is Honduran Habano wrapper. The binder is Honduran and Nicaraguan combination. 
but the filler is a unique blend of Corojo 99 and Criollo, remember that one? Criollo, Criollo 98. Makes for an interesting flavor combination. There's a lot of heat play back and forth. There's some periodical ramping, then it kind of calms down, then it gets a little bit stronger. Right now, um, I'm getting a, a mineral taste. Kind of like putting pennies in your mouth, if that makes sense. I try to associate things I taste with how it may smell, or something I smell with what I think it should taste like. I say it all the time. You try to associate those flavors with something familiar. Grandma's Sunday service pound cake. When it's in the oven or fresh baked cookies, you can almost taste it. Somebody peeling an orange in your vicinity. When that citrus hits your nose, it may cause your mouth to water. You might even want some of that orange. There's a gradual increase on the mineral note. And of course I'm frowning because that pepper is starting to bust my ass. Little heat on the retro hill. That white pepper is no longer. We in red pepper, caliente, black pepper land. It's a little heat. I got a little tinge in the back of my throat. And we're approaching that halfway point. Not close to the halfway, but definitely getting through that first third and getting that ramping. Retro hell. I talk about it in many of my videos. We puff the stick. You never inhale. You're going to hold some of the smoke in your mouth until you get a sensation on your tongue and your cheeks. Once you get that sensation, you can release some of the smoke holding the last portion so that can be released through your nose. With some practice, you'll be able to identify specific flavors that make up the composition of whatever you've chosen to smoke. Here's a demonstration. Yeah. And there's that mineral. There's that pepper. Oh, and I got a tinge right in the back of my head. <clears throat> this is a strong stick. So again, if you're fond of the bolder side of medium, this is definitely one stick to try, if you haven't already. Now, Blind Faith is different from anything in the Alec Bradley portfolio. This cigar isn't just different with strength and body, but it's also very different in regards to flavor. There's a lot of uh, bouncing back and forth. If you can identify those flavors or profiles in this particular stick, I'm getting a lot of cinnamon, I'm getting a, a lot of pepper right now, and of course the ramping is coming and going, getting a little bit stronger than usual, milding down or toning down, but this is definitely an enjoyable session. A little strong, but still enjoyable, it's not bust your ass. This is definitely not a stick to smoke on an empty stomach. I recommend this to anybody that's smoking cigars, season enthusiasts. This is not for the beginner. This is not an uh, introductory stick for those that don't smoke on a regular. As for myself, this is one that I would like to smoke again. I'm kind of upset that I only found one 
or only got one. I was kind of anticipating doing this video, so I let this one stew in the box for about a month. So if you look at the sheen, if you look at that beautiful chocolate color on the wrapper, the ash is a little bit wonky. Well, y'all, I lost my ash as we approach the half. Right now, we're getting an intense mineral ramp up. So, not one penny. Maybe five pennies are in my mouth at this point. Um, I'm not too fond of the mineral taste. It definitely gives you uh, some copper tones uh, in this particular stick. The strength has an edge to it. Not so punchy, but it is strong. Like somebody that's going to the gym, but they don't have the muscles quite yet. I'm no professional by any means. However, I do enjoy the opportunity to share with my smoker friends those sticks that I enjoy, as well as those that I don't. In regards to Alec and Bradley Blind Faith, this is absolutely one to try I recently bought a new toy I'm gonna need your help she needs a name leave your suggestions in the comments below what we gonna name her she pretty ain't she the intensity does increase and decrease as you get through the stick, which makes this for an interesting smoke session. You're gonna get a lot of flavor bouncing in and out, a lot of strength in and out. But again, this is not getting to full territory. It's the stronger side of medium, the other side of medium. Um, I would definitely recommend this as a gift someone you know that smokes cigars on a regular if they haven't done Alec Bradley this may be one to introduce them to the brand I'm gonna keep you the buck with you this is about all I can do I got serious heartburn going on I've been resting and trying to get into it but I don't think that I can finish this one. It's starting to ramp up a little bit to where I can't take it. This, 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 this is a strong stick. Started out medium, medium, medium. Now that we're in that last third, it's getting a little bit stronger. Not necessarily full, not necessarily bust your ass, but a little bit too strong right here for me. If you've done Alec and Bradley, blind faith definitely leave some comments below we definitely want to talk some shit about this let's see what you think about it the cigar itself is a limited product blend it's not in short supply you can find these pretty much at any cigar shop that you frequent there is definitely a strong strength edge uh, to this cigar as it gets to the end but again I might not be able to finish this one for y'all it's getting a little too strong for me whatever y'all doing in this cigar lifestyle make sure y'all keep it smoky let's not sweat this cigar shit too serious y'all have a good day as always it's your boy Q Morgan in the building. Peace out.